Are you considering the big step of buying a home? Dave Ramsey, a renowned personal finance guru, offers a unique perspective on the true cost of home ownership. Is a debt-free, cash-focused approach the right path for you? Dave Ramsey emphasizes how important it is to go into home buying with reasonable expectations. He agrees that many people want to buy a new house, but he also believes it's important to have a realistic understanding of the whole process, including the associated costs. We'll look at Dave Ramsey's discussions regarding the cost of purchasing a domestic with callers. We'll look at his observations and ideas about different domestic shopping situations. A caller from Pensacola named Nathan talks about how he would rather buy a more expensive house than his modern one. He considers selling his investments in order to obtain the money needed for a $300,000 mortgage. Dave Ramsey starts by inquiring about Nathan's age because oftentimes age plays a crucial role in financial decisions. Ramsey reiterates his pinnacle of not taking on additional debt in order to finance a larger domestic purchase, especially if you have investments that you could sell to finance the purchase. He makes it clear that the money meant for the investments should be used to purchase the house. Holding large loans in addition to investments is not a wise decision. He also emphasizes the significance of maintaining a financial margin and having enough liquidity. In order to afford a more expensive home, he discourages taking on excessive debt and emphasizes the need of maintaining a balanced financial portfolio. Dave Ramsey immediately strikes up a conversation with Nathan, carefully assessing his circumstances. He questions about their income, assets, and ages. He finds out that Nathan and his spouse have equity in their contemporary home worth $480,000 and non-retirement investments worth about $600,000. They want to spend about a million dollars on a house. Nathan says that after accounting for closing costs and other expenses, they might not need a $300,000 loan and instead need something in the neighborhood of $200,000. Dave notices that something is wrong with Nathan's calculations. He underlines that selling their contemporary assets and taking out a large mortgage on a new domestic home would not make sense. Dave asks Nathan where the $300,000 in debt came from and notes that the figures don't add up with their possessions. The importance of maintaining stability between investments and home ownership is emphasized by Dave Ramsey. He clarifies that it's dangerous to concentrate all of their assets within a small circle of relative residences, particularly if there is no profits to be made. He voiced his worries about Nathan's plan's lack of financial leeway and flexibility. Dave cautions against taking on a lot of debt to purchase a home. Dave inquires about Nathan's annual household income, which is about $100,000. He also wants to know how old Nathan is and how property taxes would affect a $1 million domestic property. Nathan talks about the tax benefit that Florida offers to veterans with disabilities. Nathan responds that it fulfills their dream of living on the water when Dave questions the motivation behind purchasing a $1 million worth of possessions. Dave Ramsey says he's uncomfortable with the idea of purchasing a $1 million home. He thinks it's unbalanced and advises against entrusting a large portion of one's net worth to an unmarried family member who owns the home. In addition to paying off their current house, saving heavily, and shopping for a new place when they have more money, he counsels Nathan to consider other options. Along with money, Dave Ramsey talks about the importance of having margin in other areas of life. He feels that a lot of people don't have margin in their relationships, finance, time, or artwork. Individuals who have no margin experience stress and frayed ends. Dave warns against margin-free dwelling, citing potential negative effects on one's general well-being. Dave Ramsey agrees that arguments can arise during a wedding, as Nathan and his wife's situation demonstrates. He offers advice on how to resolve financial conflicts and romantic relationships and emphasizes the significance of reaching on agreements when making important financial decisions. Brett from Provo, Utah asks Dave Ramsey for advice regarding his strategy for saving for a down payment on a home. He says they would need three years to save half of the house's rate, and he's thinking they might need additional three years to pay for the entire house with coins. Dave Ramsey emphasizes the value of living a debt-free lifestyle and refraining from taking out loans. He talks about the idea of not taking on debt even when it goes against his personal decisions. Dave thinks the quickest path to building wealth and financial balance is to become debt-free. So what factors need to be taken into account when deciding whether to pay cash or with a mortgage for a home? He suggests that Brett evaluates the direction of his family's earnings and determine whether or not he can grow them over the next few years. Purchasing the home with a mortgage can be a good option if profits are expected to rise. In some other communication, Dave Ramsey advises a couple, Andrea and her husband, who are on baby steps four, five, and six. They paid off all their debts besides their loan and are thinking about buying a brand new house. However, they got a confrontation concerning the dimension of the house and their contemporary mortgage. Andrea expresses her desire for a more expensive dream house, while her husband is concerned about taking on more debt and having a high mortgage. Dave Ramsey delves into the financial situation and income, emphasizing that they should avoid being house poor, where most of their income goes towards a house payment. 
He counsels the couple to think about their financial objectives and determine whether the extra space in the house justifies the possible strain on their finances. In the end, Ramsey advises that their choice should be in line with their objectives and financial circumstances. Christine, a nurse, is calling with a question for her spouse. With the exception of their mortgage, they have no debt, but they worry about their large monthly mortgage payment. Christine's spouse is employed in the supply chain and has encountered significant fluctuations in his income. Although they currently have a stable income, they are unsure of the future. In response, Dave Ramsey emphasizes the meeting certain debt-to-income ratios is not as important as the trajectory of a person's income. They shouldn't worry too much about the large mortgage payment if an increase in the income is anticipated in the upcoming years. He counsels Christine and their spouse to budget in line with their goals and income projections to avoid becoming house poor. Do you only follow traditional debt ratios? Ramsey places emphasis on evaluating financial security based on future income and goals. Paying cash or putting down a large down payment. Dave Ramsey advocates for paying cash for a home if possible. He believes that taking out a mortgage is a form of debt and that the ideal situation is to buy a home with no mortgage at all. For most people, this may not be realistic, so he advises putting down a substantial down payment, usually at least 20%, to minimize the amount borrowed and reduce interest cost. 15-Year Fixed Rate Mortgage If you must take out a mortgage, Dave Ramsey recommends a 15-year fixed rate mortgage. He prefers shorter loan terms because they come with lower interest rates and force homeowners to pay off their mortgage faster. Avoiding adjustable rate mortgages and longer term loans is also a core part of his advice. As a percentage of income, house payments should not be more than 25% of your monthly take home pay, according to Ramsey. He stresses the significance of living within your means and creating a budget in order to avoid financial strain. Emergency Fund Ramsey suggests setting up a fully funded emergency fund prior to purchasing a house. This fund acts as a safety net for your finances, enabling you to pay for unforeseen costs without incurring debt. No private mortgage insurance, PMI. If you put down less than 20% of the total amount, PMI is normally needed. Dave Ramsey advises people to save money for a 20% down payment in order to avoid PMI. PMI does not directly benefit the homeowner, rather it raises the total cost of homeownership. Budget for all costs. Dave Ramsey stresses the importance of budgeting not only for the mortgage, but also for all the other costs associated with home ownership. This includes property taxes, insurance, maintenance, repairs, and utilities. Being prepared for these costs is vital for long-term financial stability. Becoming debt-free first. Dave Ramsey advises individuals to become debt-free before buying a home. This includes paying off all credit card debt, car loans, and other outstanding loans. His philosophy is to eliminate debt as much as possible to free up financial resources for home ownership and other financial goals. In his analysis of the real cost of purchasing a home, Dave Ramsey stresses the significance of being well-informed about finances, steering clear of debt, and keeping a balanced portfolio. He urges listeners to think about affordability and debt-to-come ratios, but he emphasizes long-term financial security and goals more than anything else. Ultimately, living within one's means, prudent saving and investing, and placing a higher value on financial freedom and peace of mind than material belongings are the foundations of Ramsey's financial philosophy. In the end, his counsel is consistent with the idea that any significant financial choice, such as becoming a homeowner, should be made with your financial security as a top priority. So do share your opinions in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content.